is how to get the SHA1 key, SHA256 key and key hashes uh, using your computer. That is so simple and so easy. For that all you need is just to open up your favorite browser and just type this URL and press enter which is github.com slash codingcafe1 slash get underscore keys okay and it will redirect you to this page. Then simply click on download zip okay download this and it is already downloaded and cut this from here and on the desktop I will simply paste it and then right click on it and click on extract here so simple and so easy then you can delete the zip file this is our project okay if you want you can rename it to get keys underscore keys okay then open up the Android studio click on open and then on my desktop I have this project by the name get keys as you can see here okay and then click select this get keys and press ok if you see this pop up then you have to simply click on trust project okay and we have to wait for it first of all because it is still loading so let's wait for it so yeah we are ready now you have to simply click here okay if you see any other thing that is for example let's say if any default by default if the project is selected then make sure that you select Android okay make sure that this Android must be selected then if you expand this then we have app inside the app we have Java inside the Java we have this one this first one okay and then we have this main dot main activity okay and then we have this key hashes utility class and basically this class here we have wrote some code which will basically get the SHA1 key SHA256 and key hashes programmatically okay so let's just run this for this you have to simply open up your uh, emulator or you can simply connect your Android phone also okay now let's just simply click on this play button in order to get these three keys which is SJ1, SJ256 and key hashes as you can see the application is running now and it says hello world but what we want we want to get this uh, keys from the logs simply open up the log cat and then in the log cat you will see this one okay just click and select debug and then you have to just write, uh, copy this SHA1 equals to okay copy this and then paste it here and you will get the SHA1 key which is you can see here SHA1 equals to so after this equal sign this is our SHA1 key okay so how we can copy it after this equal sign as I told you SHA1 is equals to this is our text message in order to get okay so just after the equal sign you can select this and just copy this and on the desktop just create any text document file or any file and then simply paste it here so I will simply say SHA1 key and then I will paste it here so this is our SHA1 key and then after it let's get the other one which is SHA256 equals to okay so just copy this and we will paste it here okay do not give any extra space so here you can see this is our SHA256 key so you have to simply select after the equal sign so after the equal sign I select this like this okay and then copy it and then you can simply save it with yours in your computer okay just like this SHA256 key and then how to get the key hashes so simple and so easy you need to simply copy this okay and inside this log you can search for it which is key hash equals to so you can see key hash equals to so this is our key hash key okay so you have to simply after the equal sign just select this and copy all this and then you can simply paste that here so you can say key hashes or key hash key so anyways let us just paste that here so in this way you can get your all keys you can simply save it so now you can use any of these keys whenever you required these keys in any project in any future project let's say